go to, we say, if joystick init. And if you remember, the text box was called uh, joy dev box. And it, you need to, you're going to need to type the, the, the dev file of the joystick. So joy dev box dash text. text dot to ASCII so that it'll convert it to a string of characters that my library understands because I do not want to use QT stuff in a library that's meant to be used not always with QT. So and if it's greater than negative one do okay. So we're going to say button connect dash Yes. Um, so button connect, set text. This will be so you know that the joystick's connected. It will set it to connected. Since it says connect, it'll change to connected. Then we're also going to say timer. Start. If you don't, like last time, if you don't specify um, a number, it will tick every millisecond. So we're done with that function. So update form. This is the B, the main part of the program. This will read values from the joystick and update them on the screen. So first, we're going to set our axis values. So LCD axis 1 display, which displays a number, joystick dash okay so let's look at our API again and get axis gets one of the axes axes on the joysticks so you minimize it display get axis zero um, the zero is just the first axis on the joystick it's zero through whatever depends on how many axes are on your joysticks. It can be anywhere from only one axis to 500 axes, depending on what your joystick has. Linux doesn't care. Um, LCD is two. So basically, just finish this up. Okay, so now it will display the axes. So you go and try to compile it just to see, just to make sure you didn't have any errors. And we're going to uh, test the program. So I already have my joystick plugged in. If you don't, go get one. It needs to be a USB joystick. And I, with the JS Info program last video, I showed you how to t find the joysticks on your system. I'll show you again if you don't remember. You would look in either slash slash dev slash js star for so, um, that's where they go on some systems. On my on other systems, it'll go under slash input slash dev slash input. And I have that particular joystick. And so let's it won't display the buttons yet, so everything is fine if it doesn't. Um, so you just go to start program. This is just testing, so the, it should pop up and look like this, and type in the device file of your joystick, and click connect. If it says connected, good, and just move some of the axes on your joystick. So, like, you got axis one, two, three, four. You can move them at the same time. Now, as you notice, the buttons will not respond because you haven't programmed them yet. So. And you can just close out of that. Now, we're going to add the button recognition. So, you can, 
So this is basically a fairly tedious part. So there's a lot of stuff. So let's look at our API again, just to show you. And I know it, but uh, you don't. So character get button and the button number gets a button on the joystick. My we're, we only set up 12 lights because my game pad only has 12 buttons, but yours may have more. But it'll just display zero through, buttons one through 12. So say if joystick get button zero is greater than zero because it'll return negative one if the button does not exist so there's error catching and it'll return zero if it's not pressed and one if it's pressed so if it's greater than zero we're going to say k what the heck k led one which is the first k led we had turns on now otherwise K LED one goes off. So I'm just going to type it in the rest, but basically it's just repetitive. So it's just copy and paste. It's the easiest way. There are fun parts to coding and not so fun parts to coding. And the not fun part is when you're just adding repetitiveness in your program. But it pays off in the end. Okay, so once you have that done, build it again. Just make sure there are no errors. Sure, hoping they're not. Okay, now going to debug, start program. Yes. Okay, so now the button should work. So reconnect to your joystick and connect. Now, if you look, the buttons that exist should have gone off because by default they're on. So you've got the axis movements and you've got the buttons. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Like if you see that those buttons moving when I'm pressing them, it's because those are the pushing in on the thumbsticks since I've got a Logitech gamepad. But that is the program. So I hope you enjoy and I hope it helps you out. Next time we'll be writing an application that has more than one window. Because currently I haven't shown you and it'll be something to do. Now you can also probably connect again. This I've never actually tested before so I don't know what it's going to do. Because I have another joystick that I just plugged in. So let's see if I can reconnect okay so what happens if I try to reconnect oh it actually worked one button one two three the axis That's axis one axis two so Pretty cool system here. Um, so, hope you enjoyed.